Good morning. I call to order the meeting of Wednesday, October the 6th, of the uh, Philadelphia Board of Elections. I uh, first want to say that the staff ran into a technical obstacle with the website yesterday and was physically unable to post the agenda until about 11.30 a.m. So the agenda was posted to the website 23 and a half hours before the start of the meeting. Please note that I will be making a motion to amend the agenda per the updated Sunshine Act to allow for the polling place changes to take place, which is the only action that was scheduled for this meeting. Second, I will preserve the order and decorum of these meetings. Everyone in attendance should be on notice that shouting out or interrupting the proceedings will not be tolerated. Those who violate this will be asked to leave. The Sunshine Act permits anyone to attend a public meeting to object to a perceived violation at any time during the meeting. If you choose to do so, please succinctly state your objection. Objecting is not an opportunity for speech making. We will now move to public commenters. Commenters shall state where they live, or if they are not a resident of Philadelphia, that they are a Philadelphia taxpayer. Public comment is not an opportunity for dialogue or Q&A. It is public comment, an opportunity for you to tell us what you think. Each speaker shall have two minutes. However, I may extend this time at my discretion. All public comments must be relevant or germane to board business. Finally, it is my responsibility to preserve the order and decorum of meetings. As such, profane, slanderous, discriminatory, or personal attacks will not be tolerated. Please note, we will be doing polling place changes later in the meeting. So anyone wishing to be heard on a polling place change Kindly wait until that time. Anyone wishing to offer public comment, please step forward. Seeing none, we will move to uh, Secretary Omar Sabir for any email of public comment. Morning. All comments that were emailed by 945 were shared with commissioners and the deputies at 10 a.m have been provided to each commissioner at the beginning of the meeting and are available at the public comment table. We received two comments from Joseph Moreno and Margaret Hang. I have reviewed those comments and asked that they be moved into the record. I've also reviewed those comments and asked that they be moved into the record. I have also reviewed it. Please move the comments into the record. Thank you. We will now proceed to old business. Joe Lynch, has, our executive director, has a report. Good morning, Commissioner. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Joe. Sunshine report for today, 10621 County Board report. As of yesterday, they have received 93,362 vote by mail applications. Of those, 61,908 are paper applications and 30,454 are electronic applications. This is including the permanent ballot voters who applied in the primary. Ballot application processing is up to date through Monday. The deadline to petition the Court of Common Pleas regarding appointments to vacant election board workers positions is Wednesday, October 13th. Petitions can be submitted in City Hall, room 295, or on the Court of Common Pleas website. Court will be held the following Wednesday, October 20th. Report for the voter registration unit. For the election cycle to date, they have processed 85,001 applications, of which 61,000 were paper. All applications are up to date. The data unit is working on paper applications, return letters, and are proofing the paper apps. The Imaging Union is processing electronic apps, return letters, and doing corrections. Correspondence is working on return letters. Documents Unit is working on return letters, mailing appeals, and ID cards. This week they mailed out 11,390 ID cards. All units are also pulling deceased from the dupe room. Report for the Election Board Unit. South Philadelphia High School from last week, the total confirmed number was 183. 
in person for that, got, that were trained. Overall, 852 poll workers attended in-person training. Online training as of today is, was 515. Total confirmed working, 4,757. Total messages left was 901. Total of non, not working is 1,801. This week, they are at United Luther, Lutheran Seminary doing the trainings. The vote by mail center, the vote by mail center was able to process and mail out just over 90,000 mail-in ballots over the weekend and are continuing for processing them and sending them out on a daily basis. They are also printing and folding provisional ballots for the election material boxes. The election activities unit, we received the English version of the candidate sample ballots and are processing them for the boxes. We should be receiving the Spanish version today or tomorrow. In between working on the samples, they are also packaging up the provisional ballots that were printed. That's all I have for you. Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. I would like to now move on to new business, and as such, I would like to make a motion to amend the agenda to add the polling place relocation hearings for the divisions that were scheduled for today and included with the agenda that was posted on our website at 11.30 a.m. on October the 5th. Second. As I stated earlier, our staff ran into te technical difficulties posting the agenda to the website 24 hours before the meeting and were physically unable to do so from about 10.30 a.m. until about 11.30 a.m. yesterday. As Charlie will state, all notice required by the election code plus our normal non-required notice for the polling place relocations has occurred. Furthermore, the agenda that was posted on our website at 11.30 a.m. on October 5th shall be considered the amended agenda. Commission, do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Commissioner Schmidt. Commissioner Sabir, I vote aye. Commissioner Sabir? Aye. Aye. Thank you. The motion carries. We will now move to Charlie Stroman with polling place relocation. Is there anyone here who would like to speak Hold up, child. Is there anyone here who would like to speak on the moving of a polling place? Please come forward, sir. Please state your name for the record. Adam Tracks. Proceed. Hi, I'm here about the polling place change from uh, a switch of Ward 1, Division 7 from uh, from East Passion Community Center to the Bach Building uh, and corresponding switch of third, uh, Ward 39, Division 26 from the Bach Building to the East Passion Community Center. Um, I'll speak mostly on the situation in the first ward, of which I'm, I'm the ward leader. I've conferred with the longtime judge of elections, uh, majority inspector, uh, the incoming majority inspector, uh, both of our Democratic committee people, and they all strongly support this change. Uh, Division 7 lies to the east of uh, the Bach building, uh, and East Passion Community Center is to the west of the Bach building, so uh, people currently have to walk all the way across that. It's about a five block walk from a lot of places in there, uh, and the Bach building is about uh, two to three blocks closer, depending on where you're coming from. Uh, so, uh, you know, basically all of the constituencies have strongly supported that. Um, the uh, seven was at Ford Powell in the past and has moved during sort of during the pandemic and then got bunched in with a bunch of other Ward 1 polling places uh, at East Passion Community Center, but it's much closer to Bach. So we do support that change and all the uh, people who've been there year in, year out working the election board support that change as well because it will be easier to get some, uh, you know, older residents to the, to the voting place. Um, if it's all right, I, I can speak. Uh, is it all right if I read Joe's statement into the record? Joe Marino, from the perspective of War 39? Yes. Okay, uh, so Joe Marino sent this publicly, uh, and he's speaking from the perspective of 3926, which currently has to walk across East Passion Community Center all the way over to Bot. 3926 has always been at East Passion Community Center and moved uh, in sort of post-pandemic. Um, my name is Joseph Marino, and I'm president of the Advisory Council at East Passion Community Center. Um, I highly support the change of the polling place 3926 back to East Patrick Community Center, moving people who belong to the neighborhood near Bach uh, back to voting at Bach and those who live near EPCC back to EPCC. 
Uh, he then goes on to say all the constituencies he represents. Uh, and then he says, I've spoken to hundreds of seniors, uh, neighbors, mostly senior citizens, who are disenfranchised by the current situation, which was never reviewed in a public hearing, I'm just reading for here. Uh, uh, unlike this one, when the switch was made to accommodate the city and not the citizens. Do dozens of our seniors are unable to vote because they have no access to transportation to a polling place uh, that is in some cases up to seven blocks away from their home uh, or more. So Joe's uh, in support of this. He's a longtime community member at the East Passion Community Center, and I should say that Jay uh, Jonathan Rowan, the ward leader, Democratic ward leader of the 39th ward, also communicated to us <coughs> in email correspondence that he was in support of this. Thank you. Yep. Anyone else here to uh, make a public comment on the moving of a polling place? Please come forward. Good morning, Councilman, and welcome. Please state your name for the record. Good morning, Councilmember Mark Squillet. I just want to uh, reiterate what we heard uh, Mr. Adams say, how important it is that to have this change of uh, location uh, uh, from working with our constituent base and the committee people in that area. Uh, they believe it is easier access for voting. It will make it easier, especially for seniors, to be able to get to the polling place. And so I strongly support uh, this change and support the war leaders who uh, are also involved in this move. Thank you, Councilman. Thank you. Thank you, Is there anyone else who would like to speak on the moving of a polling place? Here, none. Charlie will proceed. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning, Charlie. First, a little update on polling places. 689 confirmed sites, 18 unconfirmed. Right now, we're at 98 percent. So, hopefully, we can get through this this year. Polling place changes. It's the first two I'll do. What we just talked about. One seven move from East Passam to Bach, and then 3926 moving from Bach to East pa Passam. I motion that we approve the proposed moves from 1st Ward 7th Division, 39th Ward 26th Division. I second. I vote aye. Commissioner Schmidt? Uh, I vote against, uh, even though I have no doubt from uh, the testimony from Adam and the councilman, because it's moving out of the ward to a different ward, and to a division that isn't contiguous with its home division, I, I don't believe it's a move that we're allowed to make, uh, so I vote against it. Commissioner Sevier? Aye. Uh, Motion carries. Next. Okay, next, next two will be in the seventh ward, the fourth and fifth division, moving from Villas Carib to Salvation Army Tabernacle, and that's due to construction at Villas Carib. That's divisions four and five. Four and five, yes. I motion that we approve the moves of the Ward 7, divisions four and five. Second. I vote aye. Commissioner Schmidt? Aye. Commissioner Sevier? Aye. So moved. Next one will be in the eighth ward in the 28th division. Move from Markwood Rec Center to Trinity Memorial Church, and that's a refusal. I motion that we approve the proposed move, 8th Ward, 28th Division. Sir. I vote aye. Commissioner aye. Schmidt? Aye. Commissioner Sevier? Aye. Next one will be in the 13th Ward, the 19th Division, moving from New Jerusalem Church to a storefront, and that's due to a refusal. I motion that we approve the proposed move, 13th Ward, 19th Division. Sir. I vote aye. Commissioner Schmidt? Aye. Commissioner Sabir? Aye. So moved. Next move would be in the 43rd Ward, 7th Division, moving from Joy of the City to the Lenfest Center, and that's for voter convenience. I motion that we approve the proposed move, 43rd Ward, 7th Division. Second. I vote aye. Commissioner Schmidt? Aye. Commissioner Sabir? Aye. So moved. The next two would be in the 44th Ward, the 6th Division, and the 15th Division, moving from Antioch Universal Church to the Salvation Army, West Philadelphia. That is due to a refusal. 
I motion that we approve the proposed move, 44th Ward, 6th Division, and 15th Division. Second. I vote aye. aye. Commissioner Schmidt. Aye. Commissioner Sevier. Aye. So moved. The next three would be in the 45th Ward, the 7th Division, the 15th Division, and the 22nd Division. Moving from Glavin Rec Center to the Polish American String Band. That is due to construction at Glavin Rec Center. I motion that we approve the proposed move 45 7, 45 15, 45 22. Second. I vote aye. Commissioner Schmidt? Aye. Commissioner Sabir? Aye. So moved. <clears throat> the next five would be in the 45th Ward. That would be the 13th Division, 17th Division, 18th Division, 19th Division, and 21st Division. Moving from Heisman Rec Center to a garage at 1810 East Venango Street, and that is due to construction at Huntsman Rec Center. I motion that we approve the proposed moves of the 45th Ward, Divisions 13, 17, 18, 19, and 21. Second. I vote aye. Commissioner Schmidt. Aye. Commissioner Sabir. Aye. So moved. The next two would be in the 47th Ward, the 3rd Division, and the 12th Division. Move from AME Union Methodist Church to the Beckett Gardens Community Center. That is due to voter convenience. I motion that we approve the proposed moves, 47th Ward, 3rd Division, 47th Ward, 12th Division. Second. I vote aye. Commissioner Schmidt. Aye. Commissioner Sabir. Aye. So moved. The next four would be in the 61st Ward, 10th Division, 11th Division, 12th Division, and 13th Division, or I'm sorry, 16th Division. Move from Albany Rec Center to the Grover Washington School, and that is due to construction at the Albany Rec Center. I motion that we approve the proposed moves, Ward 61, Divisions 10, 11, 12, and 16. Second. I vote aye. Commissioner Schmidt. Aye. Commissioner Sevier. Aye. And that's all I have, Commissioners. Thank you, Charlie. Very well. Commissioner Schmidt, do you have any items to add to the agenda? I do not. Commissioner Sabir, do you have any items to add to the agenda? I do not. With no items remaining on the agenda, this meeting is adjourned to the call of the chair. Thank you, everyone.